Hello everyone, Rob Harmon here from Johnson Controls, uh, representing both the DSC and the Qualsys lines. Uh, for those who don't know who we are, uh, our brands would probably fall in that traditional intrusion uh, segment of our industry. I'm not sure that's uh, that term is, is necessarily fair because it's actually so much more than that. It's evolved a lot over the years. Uh, we're of course protecting small residential, small commercial, large commercial, industrial, government, uh, school boards, military, things like that. But we're also doing smart business monitoring, smart home monitoring, uh, environmental uh, things with floods and temp sensors. So it's, it's grown so much over the years, but if you're looking for a name where we fit, it would be the intrusion side. And in that intrusion space, we have many different product offerings. But I think if you focus on the following three, you'd get a very high percentage of what our go-to-market strategy is. So first, the Power Series Neo, a spectacular hybrid panel, wireless and hardwire solution for that residential and commercial application. Uh, we also released the Power Series Pro, which is very similar to the, the Power Series Neo, but with a lot more of that industrial uh, style, those features that you'd need in the industrial style applications. And then, of course, last but not least, the IQ panel. Uh, industry leader by far, market leader right now in North America uh, for many, many reasons, and we'll, we'll cover some of those later. But if you learn these three panels, these are our the backbone of our go-to-market strategy right now. Taking a quick look at what we're gonna cover off in the video, uh, we're gonna spend some time on PowerG in case you're unaware of what it is or why it's so awesome. Uh, we're gonna talk about the IQ Hardwire PowerG module, the IQ Wi-Fi, the brand new IQ Panel 4, and the IQ Water Valve. So let's, uh, that's what we're gonna talk about. Let's get right into it. Right out of the gates, PowerG. For, for those who don't know what PowerG is, it's the technology that's built into the sensors and the control panel and allows them to communicate or talk wireless with each other. Uh, for the people that have been in the industry a long time, many would know that nobody would have thought, maybe five, ten years ago, of going wireless in a commercial or industrial style applications. There were many valid reasons before PowerG, such as battery life being poor or range, or maybe the aesthetics weren't great or there wasn't a full suite of product. There were also things like, does it get interfered with, right? It was one channel technology. Uh, could somebody hack it? right, like hack it and manipulate it and cause some false alarms. So there was a lot of really good valid um, concerns before, but then PowerG came out. Battery life on most things is six to eight years. Uh, it's fully encrypted and it's got 50 different channels. So if one does get interfered with or, or causes something to happen, it's got 49 other channels to get the signals through. Then we jump into range and that is 6,500 feet line of sight and that's without a repeater, mind blowing. If I introduce a repeater like I did here in this example, it gives me the ability to add another 6,500 feet, totaling 13,000 feet line of sight, and that's one direction. If I do the, the exact same setup in the other direction, another 13,000 feet line of sight for a total of 26,000 feet line of sight or just under uh, five miles or eight kilometers. And it's that wireless technology that's given the confidence to our partners to be able to tackle these large industrial facilities. Uh, I think the largest one we've done to date is up to a million square foot facility, all wireless with PowerG. So jobs that are taking three to four weeks are now being completed in three to four days. So completely changing the way some of our integrators are going to market. With PowerG, you get a full suite of products that allow you to customize the detector to the environment. We have standard door window contacts, recessed, uh, outdoor gate contacts that are spec for minus 40. Uh, we have a high traffic contact uh, designed for those high traffic areas where the doors are opening and closing many times a day, as well as things like a shock sensor that has the ability to have a, a hard wire contact attached to it. Same thing with the motions. Uh, it's not just a standard passive infrared motion detector. We have things like dual tech motion detectors, uh, curtain motions or outdoor curtain motions, ceiling, uh, outdoor motions with cameras built in. So basically a full suite of products, depending on what you're looking to protect, we have you covered. And that brings us to the PowerG flood detector, by far our fastest growing detector in North America. And that's happening for a number of reasons. Depending on what part of North America you're in, we're seeing massive spikes in insurance premiums and deductibles uh, related to floods. So this type of protection is being demanded. Uh, if you look right there, we have our own flood sensor, the 9985. But you could also take a standard wireless door contact, PowerG standard door contact, and add any type of flood or float switch you'd like to it because it has those inputs to be able to monitor it. I thought I'd uh, quickly share with you an example of some of the uh, deployments we're seeing in North America. We've had a couple sites where you're seeing as many as 13 to 1700 flood detectors in either one building or multi-building uh, multi complex. But for an example, you've got one Neo panel covering 40 suites each suite has two floods and one temperature sensor, 
and that gives you enough leftover zones to add a couple carbon monoxide detectors per floor. Uh, if you take a look at it, I don't know of a more cost-effective way to add that protection and monitor it than what this Neo in PowerG would give you. Uh, just to highlight one more uh, PowerG detector, and hopefully you're getting the idea that they, we have a very extensive line of detectors with PowerG, but one that I like a lot is the temperature sensor. So we've had it out for a number of years, but Alarm.com did an update that allows you to see those temperatures in real time. So you can put up to 40 temp sensors per site and see those live on the app, and you can have a total of 128 working per panel. So you can set thresholds that they go into alarm at different temperatures. But if I just want that peace of mind of what's the temperature of my pool, hot tub, fridge, freezer, whatever there is, you have the ability to see those real-time temperatures right on the app. Now, the IQ4. For those of you that know the IQ2+, Plus, the industry leader, market leader, um, all-in-one self-contained panel, this is the direct replacement. And we wanted to make sure that we didn't take away from any of the features that your customers or dealers or their customers uh, had before. We just wanted to make everything better, faster, stronger. So um, things like having dual radios in there for different security sensors, we've made sure we've kept that in there. So PowerG is going to be in every unit, plus the flexibility of adding either 319, 433, or 345, depending on what's in a house or commercial application. You're not wasting it. You're able to leverage the investment they've made and improve on it. Made myself a little smaller so, so make sure we didn't obstruct all the features and things going on on this page. Um, taking a quick look at the features, uh, seven inch HD touchscreen. We got an eight core Qualcomm processor before we used to have a four uh, or a quad core processor. So super fast, the screen is super responsive, whether you're swiping between menus or getting to different parts, lightning quick. And we wanted to build it with the horsepower that we knew we were gonna be building software updates for the next couple of years, that it had the horsepower to deliver those features. So that's what we did here. Um, of course, it's got your two-way voice. It's got the dual SRF like we've talked about. Um, all the ranges are faster and better. We also added, we could easily, we had Bluetooth before, so we added the Bluetooth music streaming, which is which is pretty neat if you, you get to play with it. You got that That's built right on board. Of course, you've got your photo frame displayability. I want to cover the next three in the next slide. And the features here are a direct result of us having a control panel in the field for a number of years and listening to the market feedback of our customers and their customers and making sure we made those improvements. So uh, we were seeing a growing trend for a number of reasons of table mount installations. And if you have a table mount installations on a control panel with a fixed camera, it's gonna angle it up and take a picture of the ceiling. So uh, we, we have an eight megapixel camera that has a tilt in it, which means you have the ability to tilt it. So you're taking pictures and videos of what you want pictures and videos of and not a ceiling. So great market feedback, a big improvement there. Uh, another thing that we were getting from different dealers and those on online social media groups is they wanted it louder. So before we had two side facing speakers that were one watt. Now we have four front facing speakers, each of them four watt. So it is a lot louder. So if you want to crank it up, if it's in the back of a house or a building and you weren't able to hear it at the front door, now you can. And if you don't want it that loud, you can crank it back down to more to that normal level. But we gave that flexibility and it's also it's great for that that music streaming that we've added as well. So. Uh, last but not least, there was uh, that also that concern that you had to watch a video every time you mounted your first IQ panel. Uh, you had to figure out how to snap it in on the top and the bottom. So uh, we've taken that away. We've got a new smart mount where the power goes into the back plate and you snap the panel to the back plate. And it's, it's a lot easier and it takes that, uh, that feedback was great and we've improved on that. Please feel free to stop the presentation if you'd like to read each uh, point up here. But for me, it's to simply highlight the fact that the software is so flexible that no matter what vertical you're approaching or focusing on, it's one control panel. Uh, for example, we have a, on the wellness, we have a customized GUI specifically for wellness and features specifically for wellness. So again, whatever vertical you're focused on, one IQ panel four will meet those needs. Here is a very powerful module that we released a little over a year ago that's specific to the IQ panel. Uh, if you want to picture it, picture a wireless zone expander or wireless output board, but that crazy range of PowerG. It also supports life safety devices like smokes and COs and carbon monoxide detectors. Uh, one thing to note is that it's, you are, you're limited to two per uh, Qualsys panel, so that's 16 zones, eight outputs per. And a powerful update that we did earlier in the year was we gave this module the ability to support two Neo keypads, hardwire keypads, so the Icon or the LCD. So if you had two of these modules, up to four keypads, up to 16 zones, up to eight outputs, uh, and the performance is super quick. You'd be surprised. You go and arm your IQ panel, 
those Neo keypads immediately change their status. And if you go over to the Neo keypad and change to disarm, the IQ panel immediately changes its status. So lightning quick and allows the end user and customer to leverage that hardwire run that they have in their home or business. The IQ Wi-Fi. This is something I am super excited about because it specifically addresses a major issue and a growing issue in our industry. Um, the products and services that we sell are not working the way we intended because of the technology they're relying on, and that's the customer's Wi-Fi. So that is why we designed this from the ground up to specifically help the performance of our Wi-Fi tablets as well as the Alarm.com cameras. Looking at some of the main features, uh, right on the top of the list is the uh, great coverage. So 1,500 square feet per unit, and you have the ability to add seven satellite devices. Uh, it's important to note that it's one part number. So you don't need one part number for the main and one part number for the satellite. One partner does both and they're smart enough to know where they fit in in the, in the network. Uh, I mentioned that it's, it's eight, up to eight units total on that mesh network. Uh, it's got 2.4 and 5 gigahertz that also have band steering, so it's for optimal performance. Uh, it also has automatic handoff. So if I'm moving technology around a premise or a business or, or a home, say I'm moving my Wi-Fi tablet from one area to the other, I'm not connecting to different networks to make sure it continues to work. Same goes for the camera. So uh, that's another big benefit of this being a mesh network. Super easy installation. If you have an IQ panel, it's all done right on the panel. If you have a Neo or no panel or a competitor's panel, it can all be done via web portal. And I'd be very remiss if I did not mention the price point. It's got a very aggressive price point that uh, makes this an easy addition to a, a site that you've got a Wi-Fi device that you're looking to improve. The flexibility is another advantage of this, of this product. So the installation option, the one there on the left, is the way I set my house up. Um, prior to the IQ Wi-Fi, we're getting lots of complaints. So my house was filled with um, three kids doing virtual schooling, and my wife was a virtual teacher, and I was doing virtual calls. So I was getting lots of complaints about... Uh, calls dropping or Netflix freezing or everybody would have to, to, to get off their device if I, if I had an important call. So that's the way we had it set up in it. Adding the IQ Wi-Fi completely changed the speed, the coverage and complaints on things dropping offline are next to zero now. And that's what I was excited thinking some of our partners would uh, deploy in the market. But I quickly learned talking to them that, you know what, although it'd be great, they don't necessarily want that call at nine o'clock on a Friday that, hey, my Netflix has dropped offline. So their goal was to simply um, improve the devices and the performance uh, on the devices that they sell. So they were going to let the customer manage their own network, and they were going to sell this separately when they had an Alarm.com camera or a Wi-Fi device that they want to work the way it's intended to work. The other issue that they told us this alleviates is if a customer is switching their internet provider. So if they're going from one to the other, now it, all the devices are going to have to connect to the new SSID, new set of passwords. It's either going to be a service call or difficult to do remotely. So um, when, with this application, you simply unplug the IQ Wi-Fi from the internet provider that it's in and plug it into the new uh, internet provider. Everything comes back online. Everything continues to work. And uh, those headaches are now eliminated. The last item we're going to look at is the IQ water valve. It pairs perfectly with what we talked about earlier. Uh, our PowerG flood detector is becoming our fastest growing de detector in the PowerG lineup. And this is a perfect complement for that. Primary feature, uh, very affordable. So not only is the hardware very affordable, we know there's other technology out in the marketplace, but one of the big benefits of this is, is the hardware is very cost effective. The whole solution is more affordable simply because no plumber is required. Uh, it, if, it, if it's decided it needs to be added on, it can be added on within five minutes. You simply find power. It's Z-Wave 700 series. Um, you, you attach the clamp to the pipe. It's got an auto torque for how much, uh, how much torque it requires to shut the water on and off. Uh, very quick and easy and cost effective way to add. No plumber required water detection and water shut off to an existing home or business. Uh, it, it also can, with the alarm.com rules, if there is a water detected by a flood sensor in the premise, it can automatically shut that water off. If you get alerts, say you've got a low temp alert or you get a flood alarm, you can shut it off with your alarm.com app. Or you could also create a rule every time I arm the system in the away mode, I want to shut that water off. So a lot of flexibility and lots of ways to reduce the chances of water damage in a premise. It's important to note that right now this only works on the ball valve style uh, valve. Uh, it does not work on the gate valve. To make it easier for you, we've printed it on the side of every box so it's easy to identify which one it works with. Last but not least, I want to make sure you're aware of some of the great content on Qualsys.com. Uh, sales training, tech training, uh, website assistance, uh, commercials. 
uh, device images. There's just so much great content. I strongly recommend registering so you get access to all this stuff in that library. And if you are logged in, this goes for DSC.com. If you are logged in, you have the ability to take advantage of the live chat. This is great for not only uh, frontline sales or, or tech technicians in the field, great for distribution as well. You have the ability to simply ask a question and instead of waiting on hold or, or trying to get somebody, you type in your question, get back to back to your day-to-day -day work, and with a minute or two, those questions come back answered and you're able to move on. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if there's anything else, please do not hesitate to reach out to your local DSC or Qualsys representative. Thank you.